small trees, I have a bit of an interesting tree to show you today. This is another twisted pomegranate, but as you can see, the roots are horrible. However, I saw something in this tree that I'd like to show you, and by the end of the video, I hope you can see it too. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment to let me know what you would like to see me do in future videos. I envision this tree as a spooky Halloween type oak. There are some changes that need to be done to make that happen, mainly removal of these roots that are above the soil line. If you watched my other pomegranate root work video, you saw that the dense soil under the tree suffocated many of the roots. So before I start any work, I want to get rid of that soil. This will also allow me to make sure that these ugly surface roots are not the main sources of water for this tree. I plan to put this tree in the ground and let it grow for the next year or two. It should start to twist and gain a lot of character. Because I want it to grow strongly, I'm only going to remove the ugly surface roots and let the tangle of roots underneath exist for another season. If you look closely, you can see that certain roots support certain parts of the tree. These roots usually flow upwards. This is especially important in a twisted pomegranate because that flow will become a pronounced twist over time. Any roots that do not have this flow and have roots underneath them are probably safe to remove. Only one of these surface roots appears to support an important branch. I will leave it for this year and try to encourage root growth beneath it so that I can remove it next year. Now that I know what I can safely remove, I will go around the tree and reduce the ugly roots. I'll cut them flush after with a knob cutter and then cover the wounds in putty so that they can heal as the tree grows. These roots appear to have no feeder roots on them at all. This means that the tree shouldn't even notice that I've removed them. I'm going to speed this up a little to show you how different the tree looks when we finish.
Now that the bad roots have been removed, it's time to put the tree into the ground and let it start getting spooky. I'm making sure to plant this tree so that the underdeveloped side gets more sun. Hopefully this will prompt it to grow more in this area. I hope you enjoy the work I did today. It wasn't a lot, but it made a big difference. I'm really excited to see how this turns out over the next year or two. I told you at the beginning of the video that I saw something in this tree. Can you see it now? This tree would be right at home outside of a haunted mansion, reaching down to snatch kids as they're trick-or-treating. As it grows and twists, that impression will only grow as well. Stay tuned for updates on this one. Thank you for watching. Until next time.